families, my name is Holly Compton and I'm the district math coach of Manhattan Beach and today we're going to check out some coins. Now really the value of the coins doesn't have anything to do with the story problem. We're just working in some uh, presidential stuff with all of the happenings in February. So here we go, we've got our coins in the US have former presidents pictured on them. Jace had some coins in his piggy bank. Then his mom gave him two more coins. In this case, I chose two and 10 for our number set. Now Jace has 10 coins. How many coins did Jace have before his mom gave him more? Okay, so this is a difficult type of problem because a lot of times when kids are learning to problem solve, they're just thinking about, should I add, should I subtract? And then they ask an adult, right? So they'll say, oh, Mrs. Compton, should I add the two and the 10 together? Or should I subtract them? And my answer is, I don't know. What does the story have us do? So if your child asks you a question like, what should I do here? Make sure to return them back to the story. You don't want to answer that question because then it kind of creates a mathematician who's not thinking about the actual problem. All right, so you might want to grab some coins for this one. Um, it might be fun for them to act out. So if Jace already has two coins in his piggy bank, and um, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't know how many uh, coins he has in his piggy bank. We're, basically, the setup is like this. We're not sure. So the start is unknown, plus Jace, Jace's mom gives him two coins. And in the end, he has 10 coins, right? So th that's the basic setup. So in the end, Jace is going to have 10 coins. They're probably going to draw them out. Let me take these down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They will probably draw a picture of some sort. And then um, we could say, okay, well, Jace's mom gave him two more. Maybe they'll even write mom. Good sight word practice, good spelling practice, right? Okay, so they'll get the word mom in there, and then they'll count how many Jace had in his bank account before his mom gave him those two. So they would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice I even circled the ones at the back because that's what makes sense in the story. So your kid might do that too because we're trying to figure out what he started with. So then we could see... These were already in the piggy bank. I'm going to expect, expect to see some piggies out there in the math land. Um, and then they can see that 8 plus 2 makes 10. They may also do something with um, base 10 blocks if you have these. So we could say Jace's mom gave him two more, and then he ended up with 10. So what, what was that missing piece, or what did he already have in the bank? So we could see that there right? Another thing we could also do is count on a 100 chart. Um, so you may have that as a tool, or you could even use um, a number line if your child is thinking that way, right? But in kindergarten, those are just very few kids are probably going to pull those out because they're just learning how to use this. But if they do, it will look like this. We know for sure there are two. We know they're going to get to 10. And they're going to find the missing number in between. And they will hop 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then they count the hops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2 plus 8 makes 10. So that 8 must be the missing number. Okay. So um, grab your money. Have them get it out. It'll be fun, right? So have them really practice making the picture of what's going on in this story, especially because it's a little bit more difficult. All right, families, I'll see you next time. Bye.